What's up guys, Scythe here. I know this is some very old MMO news, but um, I don't know, I was thinking about Rift the other day and started thinking about, you know, about a month ago they came out with that free to play, 1 to 20, new and returning players, no time limit, pretty much no restrictions from 1 to 20. Um, and I thought about, you know, a lot of people may be looking for something just a little bit uh, different to play, like you feel like you're getting burnt out on Star Wars and you just need a little break or something. Um, I downloaded it, it took me like an hour. Um, just messed around with it for a little bit. It's still as very polished as it ever was. Um, you know, the level 50 content may not be there or you may have quit for another issue. Most people have played it. But they did do a revamp of their PvP system with how the bracketing and uh, added a prestige system which kind of affected the PvP and made it where a new level 50 comes into the bracket it just doesn't get destroyed because he gets boosted kind of like Star Wars. So they have made some leaps and bounds over the year that this game has been out. But still I don't I doubt that I would ever pay a monthly fee for it. Um, because I'm already playing WoW and Star Wars The Old Republic. But it's definitely a good little break if you, you know, get tired of Star Wars. You're not quitting, but you just want something different to play for a few days. Um, I definitely recommend downloading this. Uh, 1 to 20. You can just play around, play with your friends that maybe still play this game. Um, definitely a option now as, uh, you know, if you're waiting for the new patch 1.2 to come out and you just want something else to do. So, I mean, I downloaded it, had fun for a couple hours, and, um, you know, I may play it again if I get really bored or if uh, I'm just looking for a change of pace for an hour or two. Uh, it'll be a good game to have on your computer, so if you're just not feeling Star Wars, if you're just not feeling WoW, you can log on do some level 1 to 20 content with the PvP games. Um, I'm still, like, I logged into this and I was still kind of shocked in shock of how the soul system works and how much customization there is to your character, which really surprised me. I didn't remember it being that detailed of character customization and ability, but that may be one of the, uh, the shortcomings of the game, why it uh, kind of collapsed as it did in of subscribers, it's because it can never balance PvP and probably um, high level raid content was not as what people were expecting. But for whatever the reason people quit, uh, I never really got into the game before past the, um, I think 25 ish highest I ever got. So I was really couldn't judge. You know, but uh, I picked it up for a few months back in the day and played it and liked it. Thought it was really polished, but I thought it was in purpose because you can just re roll. It's like re-rolling the same character that you had on WoW. That's what I first, my first like reaction to the game was. Like, why should I spend time re-rolling characters when I can already play them? But kind of my opinions have changed on these MMOs a little bit lately, and I'm kind of leaning towards it's kind of me that is getting bored with these games and the content. It's not really a game. It's not a bad game. I just think back to the good times with some of the other games I've played and the game that I'm playing now really just doesn't live up to it. Um, but that's not so I'm kind of taking a new look on this and uh, I like Star Wars a lot but when I start feeling like I'm getting burnt out I'll switch to something like this, play it, maybe Tribes Ascend, uh, the Bloodline Champions. Um, I found out, you know, if you really mix it up like this the game when like the new patch 1.2 comes out. I'll be way more excited. It'll be way more fun. Um, so yeah, if you're at the same point I am and you want something to do, this is definitely not a waste of the download. Just get on and screw around 1 to 20. Uh, also Tribes of Sin, Bloodline Champions if you get bored. Uh, there's a lot of games out there that uh, are definitely worth giving another shot. Especially Rift. Uh, it's still very polished. Still very good game, um, but for whatever reason you quit, try it out again, um, especially if you wait for 1.2. I know Star Wars right now, we're just all kind of waiting for that new patch for the rated PvP and stuff, so um, 
Got to keep, you know, having fun while we're waiting. So, later on.